maybe explain Stallion to those who may not have heard of you guys before. Yeah, no, that'd be great. Uh, Stallion Gold is a precious metals and critical minerals exploration company. We've got two key projects, one in central Idaho and one in central Nevada, both of which don't have a resource currently, but are both are next to world-renowned, world-class size uh, gold deposits that are currently being developed. So we think we've got good potential with the projects that we have right next to them, um, looking to build out a, a resource of our own. I guess I'd like uh, to kind of lead down the path of your projects now, maybe starting with the Horse Heaven project. Our Horse Heaven project is, it's a, a massive project in size. We're 699 mining claims, so that's over 15, uh, 5,800 hectares. Uh, so, so truly remarkable, over 21 square miles. Uh, when you get out there and you, you look from one end of the project to the other and you see the horizon before you see the end of the project, that's uh, the kind of scope that we're talking about. But this project shares its entire eastern border with Perpetual Resources. So again, we are right next to them. Perpetual Resources, uh, of course, with their Stibnite Gold project has over 6 million ounces in the ground. Uh, they're going through the permitting to build what would be one of the largest open pit mines in the United States. Uh, that's non barrack non Newmont. Um, so a, a tremendous resource right there. We think we have, you know, the, the sniffings of, of what could be a, a very large resource on our side as well. We've got some historical work there that leads us uh, to believe that, and we can get into that a little bit uh, later. Um, but also the fact that this project is in, in Idaho, which is a, a good mining jurisdiction, you know, little or no geopolitical risk uh, compared to a lot of other mining jurisdictions and a very clear and uh, concise permitting plan to move things forward. So it's a good jurisdiction to be in. Do so you think you could touch on just for investors, maybe the, the capital structure a little bit and what that looks like? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, right now we're about 60 million shares out. Uh, these days have been sort of trading between 22, 25 cents, that area. Uh, we're a very well held capital structure. Uh, we've got sort of 26 million shares, so roughly half, a little less than half that are held with what we call uh, management, uh, key insiders and, and, and significant shareholders. Uh, and the shares that, that aren't part of that group uh, seem to be fairly well held as well. Um, you know, we've been going through a bit of a tough market, uh, both, uh, you know, with big mining companies and, and especially with the small mining companies, a lot of liquidity uh, seems to be drying up. But again, our, our shareholders see that we've got the sort of roadmap uh, to go forward and, and create value for, for all stakeholders moving forward. So they've been been fortunate to uh, give us the the time um, and, and allow us to, and staying invested in us, to allow us to, to realize that sort of long-term potential that uh, these projects bring to the table. Again, fortunate uh, given current market conditions that we still have about uh, 2.4 uh, million Canadian uh, in, in the treasury. So uh, we did top that up um, last summer and, and very happy to have done that given liquidity conditions right now. Through the summer, we are uh, continuing to do some work. We're out there doing some geophysics work now, um, also doing some other uh, secondary work on, on other target areas on the project. But again, given market conditions, are very cognizant of, of where our cash dollars are being spent. So being very aware to try and, and minimize that. Uh, we do have big claim payments. Again, these are both uh, very large uh, packages, especially our, our package in Idaho. So some claim payments coming up later this summer. Um, but again, we're you know definitely you know well positioned to get through the work that we want to get through this summer, uh, be able to get through the winter. And, and again, Nevada allows us to work through the winter, uh, which was another aspect of bringing that on so that we weren't as seasonal as only having a project in, in central Idaho uh, that gets a lot of snow and winter conditions. So we do have uh, the cash in the bank to be able to work through and, and even enough to uh, kick us off into uh, an initial drill program as we get into next uh, summer. So uh, waiting to get that permit, of course, but uh, yeah, we're well poised and uh, you know, capitalize to, to carry us through what we want to near term and, and hopefully allow these markets the, the room to, to turn around and, and get excited about some junior explorers again.